How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Adrock, and me with my internet hat are here to talk about a community problem with Atlas Reactor's free mode right now. As you may know, Atlas Reactor's out, and it's a new approach to team-based combat. It's really person mirrors, but those same ears are really privy to community conversations that need to be cleared up. One specifically. So currently, Atlas Reactor has two ways of play, a full purchase or the free mode. Full purchase is self-explanatory. You get complete access to the game and its contents, while free mode will limit you to some of them. Honestly, this is, on the surface, just like its competitors. But there's a few questions about free mode, and is it really free? Short answer, yes. Long answer, no. No, no. Eh, yes and no. Yeah, it's free. You're able to access Atlas Reactor no problem and level, and level up freelancers to your heart's content. The official website shows off the differences, and that's where people get confused about free mode and if it's worth their money. Free mode limits your access to freelancers through weekly rotations, and it's said to be random per player instead of a community pool. This is to ensure that a week is not dominated by a specific team comp, and that free mode players can try out as many of the freelancers as possible. It's par for the course, but I know people get attached to their own characters. I want to play Garrison all the time. All the time. Why? Oh, God, why? Tryon, please, Garrison, give him some love. Just, ugh. Despite playing the game in normal capacity, free mode players cannot play in ranked. They cannot permanently unlock freelancers or directly purchase co uh, cosmetic content with ISO. They cannot per they cannot purchase loot matrices or open as many as they want in a given time. It's causing that rub and people expect the phrase free and free to play and free mode to have certain connotations in 2016 and honestly from the future and probably since 2011. It's been that way for a while now, which is why we're having this discussion. Atlas Reactor's free mode is, should be labeled as a trial mode or a demo mode to be quite honest. Think of it like those old PlayStation demo games you got from your PlayStation magazine or Xbox magazine and man that makes me feel old already and I'm not even 30 yet I'm barely I'm not even oh my god I'm 30 next year I should probably stop drinking so much before I do recordings the actual game must be purchased and free mode is there to entice players to acquire the full game is this misleading to players no Tryon stated that the purchase they have and will provide the content they have and will provide should warrant a purchase They've illustrated it on their site and then on Steam as well, and that purchasing Atlas Reactor is not for additional content, but rather the full unlocked content itself. Think of it closer to Overwatch's trial mode and Smite's God Pack, because I'm hip and with it. Wording gives me a lot nowadays and can cause unnecessary drama because, hey, I mean, I'm compelled to make this video instead of constantly trying to chat every 20 seconds saying it's a demo, it's a demo. It's a demo. It's a demo. I... So the ultimate question is whether free mode sampling of Atlas Reactor is worth the price of the game and should you consider purchasing it? I cannot, in good faith, advise you whether or not you should ever buy a game. That's all up to you and your wallet and how you decide to vote for it. I'm not here to dissuade you one way or another. I'm here to talk passionately about something that I like and try to be as factual as possible and to be as knowledgeable as possible on something. So some have tried in chat and other places to say that this is a pay to win game because of the free mode slash game mode and disregard that. I mean, seriously, disregard it. Pay to win gives you a statistic mechanical or stats advantage against players all the time. And Atlas Reactor is constantly chasing roster and cosmetic only, stop, st uh, cosmetic only store clearly does away with that. If free modes lock out of competitive content and no character purchases rub you the wrong way, then by all means, vote with your wallet and don't purchase it. That's fine. I personally believe that Atlas Reactor offers enough, enough of a unique spin on the current mobile landscape and that Tryon's current commitment to content and game balancing as well as how they handle their store and purchases means that me shelling out 30 bucks is more than enough for this game. I mean, I've spent a lot more on other titles for cosmetic only purchases in the past and now that I think of it, it's a lot of money and I've totally got my money's worth every time. Yeah. Every time. And if anyone's listening over at Tryon, the terminology of free mode should honestly be looked at. I know why you chose it, and I know why it's a free version of your game. Yes, you're right, as I've said. But connotations nowadays are much broader than what free mode currently offers, and it's leaving frustrations and talks about this topic to be left in general chat in the game where the water gets real murky real quick, or Reddit where things can get crazy. But hey, shout out to the Atlas Factor subreddit. You guys don't tear off my videos. You guys don't tear Indigo a new one. And and Muzzy's kind of awesome. So uh, that's just me giving a shout out to people I wanted to. Because so why not? But hey, if this is the stuff we're going to talk about as a community of gamers, whatever game I'm interested in, then I'll drink to that.
Peace.